What's up guys, Rogue9 here and today I have for you another in-depth look at the background of a Payday 2 mask inspired by a character from the silver screen. Let's go! The mask I'll be exploring today is the Lone Heister Mask, and it is both the mask's name as well as the description that give us a strong indication that this is a nod to the character of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger is a former Texas Ranger who decided to put on a mask and go rogue to bring justice to the Old West by any means possible. The character first appeared in 1933 on a Detroit radio show written by Franz Stryker. 1933, now that's quite a while ago, no wonder the character's been called an enduring icon of American culture. The character is said to be partially modelled on real people such as the Texas Ranger Captain John R. Hughes or the Deputy US Marshal Bass Reeves, but also partially based on fictional characters such as Zorro, which makes sense, is very very similar, or even Robin Hood. After the success of the initial radio series, the writer Franz Stryker went on to write a whole series of books about the character. But of course, this video series is specifically about film masks, and to date, The Lone Ranger has been featured in a total of six films, starting with The Lone Ranger in 1956, and ending with The Lone Ranger in 2003 and 2013 respectively. The latest film to be released in 2013 had all the makings of an amazing film. It was produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Jerry Bruckheimer Films. It starred amazing actors like Army Hammer as The Lone Ranger and Johnny Depp as Tonto. And it was directed by Gore Verbinski. What could go wrong? Well, just about everything as it turned out. The film was negative negatively received by critics and had a poor box office performance. I did watch the film back then, shortly after its DVD release, and I have to say even from my perspective, it was kind of a mixed experience. The film tried to capture the light humour of the original TV series or the earlier films, Something very wrong with that horse. But it also had some fairly dark moments and for me those jarred quite significantly with the overall tone of the film. If you feel you've missed out on this icon of American culture and you want to catch up, I would suggest that you maybe start out with the TV series or even the comic books or earlier films. The most recent film, as much as I want to like it, I don't think it's really the best representation of the brand. And that's it for today already. I hope you like the new bite-sized format of these videos, because there's plenty more where these came from. If you haven't seen my two earlier videos on Payday 2 Movie Masks, check out the link on the right. And with that guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.